to your, to your political views um, about uh, the modern political views about the modern, modern scene in America. Um, you're, of course, uh, you're a friend and, and supporter of, of President Nixon. Yes. Has in any way what's, what's <coughs> happened over the recent months altered your point of view about him? No, it has it, it brought to light what uh, any uh, thinking American must realize, and that is that, that uh, politics in our country are, are not, uh, shall we say, the most beautiful part of our American life. And uh, instead of blaming politics for what's going on, the good and the bad politicians don't want to get mixed up in that. They're blaming leadership. Now, this man came in. First, uh, he tried to keep in all the liberals and all the, the conservatives and tried to make one big family. Then the liberals started double-crossing him. So he turned to the others. Then they uh, got high hat and, and uh, started running affairs in a very high-handed fashion, which they shouldn't have done. It was wrong. It was a terrible abuse. But it wasn't the leadership of our country. It takes three years for a man to get his hands on the reins of government after he gets in there. And in the fourth year, he's in a campaign again. Now, what did this man do for us? He, he brought home 525,000 kids from Vietnam that two very popular presidents couldn't do. And he had to do it the unpopular way by making the decision to mine Haiphong Harbor. Then when they started playing pawns with our, our uh, prisoners of war, he made the awesome decision of bombing Hanoi and did and brought them home. He opened up a detente with China, which the conservatives didn't like. I think, he's, I think he should be at the top of his, of his glory right now. And instead of that, because of some political thing, they are, are belittling this man. But the political, it's no more than a political thing, isn't it? It, it, it involves criminal acts. Yes. But, I mean, you can't have the president of the United States or indeed the president of any com uh, country to be seen in that kind of company, can you? Because if, if they well, do that... I, I don't think that anybody has seen him in that side of company. Well, That's true <laughs> that the party did do some idiotic things. Mm. And they're going to jail for it. But uh, I think it's pretty unfair to try to bring uh, our president into it. You don't think he should be impeached, then, as a lot of Americans oh. do? Well, to have an impeachment is probably the only way that they'll ever clear his name, because each day a new little piece of something comes out, they try to twist it around. Only by a, uh, either a grand jury or by an impeachment can he be cleared up to where people will uh, either believe in him or not believe in him? You see, the, the latest poll shows that eight out of ten Americans now um, have lost confidence in Nixon. I mean, that's a very, very <coughs> different situation than, than it was, what, two years ago, isn't it? Or, or that yeah, and if that's true, too, you know, it's... Uh... Well, I mean, it's a poll published in America, the Harris Poll. Uh -huh. I mean, polls I know are not infallible, but they give no. a fair indication. Right, they, of, right. Uh, I'm sure that there's a... Mm. It's quite a bit that way. Are, are you bored of this conversation now? No, I'm not. I'm not bored, but uh, uh, I do know that they've taken advantage of this man and that uh, he probably should have just stood up at the very beginning and said, anybody that's done something wrong will go to jail. He didn't do it soon enough. He believed in the fellows he had around him, in spite of the fact that when you have a, uh, in a year's time, they mushroom up, mushroom up millions of dollars to do a campaign, you know there's going to be some misuse of funds, misuse of, of power, and uh, uh, it suddenly is all focused on this one man.